Today on Chadtronic. How is that milk? Cafeteria food has always been the butt of jokes, but this isn't funny. Look at what they're giving us at lunch. Wow, this new meal plan is really coming together. <laughs> There's no way that's what they actually gave that kid. What is that actually? It does look like puke and applesauce. Is that just a turd in a bag? What is that? Um, yeah, because they have an enjoyable hot dog. You need the freaking hot dog! Where is Michelle Obama? Have you guys ever heard the phrase, you are what you eat? And apparently in America, <laughs> there are some people out there that want our children to become garbage because that's what they're getting served. We're gonna be taking a look at some news reports, um, some funny, some kind of sad, uh, about just how school lunch is going at some schools here in America. Let's begin. In Clarksville, complaints of moldy bread and stale milk. Parents with students in the Clarksville Montgomery County school system are upset, frustrated that the food on their students' lunch trays or lack thereof. This is what students are being served, not all that appetizing. The district says it's due to nationwide food and supply shortages. <laughs> Is that just a turd in a bag? What is that? <laughs> what the heck? This is a solid turd. Parents fed up with school lunches. Yeah, I bet they are. Okay, is that supposed to be like a hot dog? Cause it, like, that barely resembles even a hot dog. What is that? News News' Erica Francis spoke with concerned parents. Enough is enough. This is what my kid's eating at school. Concerned parents say the problem here it's not enough. It's not fulling and it's definitely not appetizing. Sometimes the kids complain that their milk in school is expired. <laughs> what the frick is this? This is like what I imagine hobbits eat for like a snack in Middle Earth. What is this? Emmy Weeks has three kids at CMCSS, one in elementary, one in middle school, the other in high school. To think, you know, they came home almost every day for a month telling me how horrible the food was, but I brushed them off thinking, you know, they're just teenagers, they're just complaining, but it wasn't that. As these signs in the school state, it was so much more. There are no trays, menus are being scaled back, and as you can see here, the district is low on buns. And what Weeks wants is answers. Due to nationwide supply chain issues, products we use every day like trays, I like how that's in all caps for some reason, are unavailable, underlined. Okay, what is this sign? Pizza shortage! Due to nationwide shortages, menus have been temporarily scaled back to one entree option. As soon as we start receiving product, we will return to a more normal menu. What? Brother, just walk across the street. There's probably a Walmart with some Lunchables. What are you talking about? So News 2 reached out to CMCSS Thursday. They told us their cafeterias score high on food service inspections, but these shortages are leading to last minute menu changes and modifications. Last minute modifications like, we just don't give you anything. <laughs> you don't get anything. You get this, a turd in a bag. <laughs> this is really sad, why am I laughing? I'm willing to pay for my children's lunches again if it means that my kids will get a better better lunch at school. For now, Weeks' kids are bringing lunch from home. Other students resorting to DoorDash and Uber Eats. But due to safety and logistical concerns, the district says food deliveries from outside vendors are not allowed. What? There are kids at school using Uber Eats and DoorDash? Oh, and they're not allowed to do this. Hey kids, what we're feeding you today is this. See this? This is nothing. No alternatives. I know I can provide my children for that lunch at the moment, but there are plenty of parents out there that are not able to. There's a lot of children that go to school looking forward to that one meal that they're gonna get that day. Oh my God, you have one job? To cook a single hot dog, which a five-year-old can do, and they fail to even cook the single item that they give to you, the hot dog. She says these students need more. Erica Francis, News 2. The interim director of schools, Dr. Angela Huff, did address the school board this week regarding this issue. She says complete USDA approved meals are still being served every day at no charge to students. What? So the parents are like, 
Hey, school, you're starving our children. School's response is like, well, technically, we're giving each child one uncooked hot dog every day, so we're not technically starving them. Another one. The school lunchroom, a place for many students to well eat, right? So they can focus on class for the rest of the day. But some local students say their cafeteria is a different place, a place where they don't even want to taste what's put on their plate. Our Melissa Hiplett is working for you to find out what's going on, Melissa. Bill, we learned the person who heads up food services for the schools in King and Queen County was suspended a couple of weeks ago. Yet some parents and students tell us the problem persists. We talked to the suspended employee and she says she was unfairly punished. We talked to that suspended employee, Suzanne Gilbertson, and she says none of this is her fault. My cafeteria employees have always been told if you're not going to eat it, don't serve it to the students. <laughs> what? So food was bad at the school already. Fired the person in charge of it. Food is still bad. The person that was fired is like, wow, this food is still really bad. Where are we trying to go with this? They're awful. Pictures of burnt pizzas and something so charred it is hard to identify. Fill Beth Paulette's camera roll. What is that? Those are the ribs, supposedly. What even is this meal? So unidentifiable ribs that look very burned. And what is this? Like overcooked chicken nuggets or something? And a barely, with not a lot of effort, chopped up tomato? What is this? Gilbertson says the superintendent put someone in charge of the high school's cafeteria a few months ago, and she says that person is not properly trained. On top of that, Gilbertson says these emails show that she reached out to Dr. Jones about the issue, but she was told she did not have any authority over the new manager. Sounds a lot like a he said, she said situation. All while the children suffer and get burnt pizza. I thought there was a pizza shortage, by the way. Another one. It's only been a month since new federal guidelines mandating healthy school lunches went into effect, but many students are already finding them hard to swallow. With cafeteria fare now calorie restricted, some kids are complaining that their lunch doesn't fill them up and turning to YouTube to make their voices heard. Here's ABC's Jim Avila. You need a fruit or vegetable, sweetie pie? It's a noble effort. But an ABC News investigation shows the USDA's new school lunch guidelines are not going down so well with many kids across the country. Whoa, why are you throwing the trays away? I thought there was a tray shortage. There's a shortage! America's public school students protesting the new federal war on child obesity with guidelines promoting smaller portions, fewer calories, less meat and cheese, and more fruits and vegetables all aimed to control obesity. Some of the protests hit the internet in dramatic fashion, like this lunchroom revolt. Give me some seconds, I, I need to get some food today. My friends are at the corner store getting junk so they don't waste away. Students at this Kansas high school creating a viral video protesting the new calorie cutting menus in their cafeteria. <laughs> this is great. Yeah! Get him with the memes! This is like the new planking, but for starving kids at school. But the result of all that healthy food, say many parents and kids, is a dramatic increase in plate waste. Sometimes the food is just nasty. In fact, the only known study of food waste under the new guidelines contains a startling statistic. Kids are now throwing away twice as much food as last year. These kids are wasting all this food while another school has to eat a turd in a bag. If you just plop the vegetables and plop the fruit there and don't do anything else, waste goes up, waste goes up about 97%. We visited a school in suburban Chicago just this month where middle schoolers analyzed their lunch waste and were shocked to find 46 boxes of unopened pears. They're all unopened. Hey, Mrs. Peterson, we're gonna go dump some garbage on the floor and sort it. Oh, what? The week before, all 111 vegetable containers served were thrown away. Schools tell us that they're seeing a 50% increase in the amount of lunchroom trash. Which is too healthy almost. <laughs> I try my hardest, <laughs> but it, it don't, it does not work. <laughs> Angie Reynolds at Virginia's Holston High School says kids are bringing their own and only take the fruits and vegetables when she forces them. 
They complain the food is tasteless. Breaking news report! Children do not like vegetables! And that Cornell study finds there are creative ways to cut down on plate waste. That by moving the healthy choices to the front of the buffet and making up names for vegetables like power beans or x-ray vision carrots, plate waste will drop dramatically. <laughs> what? They're gonna give up like fake fictional names for vegetables to make them more appealing? They're branding carrots. They're branding them. They're rebranding them. Look, it's broccoli, but not just normal broccoli. It's bussin' broccoli. Get in line, kids. Come get some of this salad. It'll improve your aim in Fortnite. Another one. Students across the country are posting images of what's on the menu at their schools in a new phenomenon called lunch shaming. Here's Les Trent. How is that milk? How is that milk? <laughs> How is that milk? It's coming out like a slime. That is actually really bad. That is awful. Cafeteria food has always been the butt of jokes, but this isn't funny. Look at what they're giving us at lunch. Wow, this new meal plan is really coming together. <laughs> That's the worst joke I've ever told on this channel. Congrats, you were here. Students disgusted by what they're being served are taking their beef online. Look at this, this is the main meal. It looks like puke and applesauce, nasty. <laughs> There's no way that's what they actually gave that kid. What is that actually? It does look like puke and applesauce. Where is Michelle Obama? In Patterson, New Jersey, parents are up in arms after images of moldy food and expired milk were shared online. Can you even tell what this is? Apparently, it's supposed to be a chicken cheesesteak sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, it's a chicken cheesesteak sandwich in 240p. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Raw, uncooked, unedible food should definitely not be one of those things. Who <laughs> can't look at that anymore? <laughs> There's nothing we take more seriously than the health and safety of our students. Look at that freaking patty. Doesn't even look cooked. They didn't even they didn't even make an attempt to cook this. This this was 500 feet from any grill because if it was any closer, it wouldn't look like this. And it clearly came from like a box in some basement that hasn't been touched for like 20 days. What the frick is this? I never won! So tell me about your school lunch. Crystal Skinner had lunch with her third grade son at school, but was stunned when his neighbor opened his plate. I asked my son, I said, what, are, what, what is that that he's eating? Where's the rest of your food? USDA guidelines sets out that you're to offer a half a cup of fruit, half a cup of vegetable, a half a cup of grain, a whole cup of meat, and a cup of milk or juice. Listen guys, everyone needs to chill. We gave the kid a couple cups of food, some Cheez-Its, he's gonna be fine, okay? She sounds so unenthused about this. Like, feeding the children is annoying. We sent the picture of this lunch to registered dietitian Dr. Jennifer Jackson. She said Cheez-Its is not an acceptable whole grain component since the ingredient is wheat flour and not whole grain. Another one! A San Diego father is angry. His daughter's school let her buy unlimited junk food at lunch. That's right. He called 10 News saying that he feels duped out of more than $100 and let down that the school doesn't make sure he's, she is eating healthy. Father's mad. His daughter spent $100 on junk food, which is a lot of money. Uh, but at least, you know, his child didn't have to eat a turd inside of a bag. Are we talking $100 in a single day or are we talking like in a week? I'm a little skeptical already. This kid really bought $100 worth of junk food at a school. The school let the child do it, and they, what, ate it in one sitting? If that's the case, the kid deserves an award. <laughs> Give this kid a medal. The junk food ones, they kind of go by really quickly. 11-year-old Katie Briscoe admits she's usually in that line getting her favorites. Salmon rolls, Doritos, Cheetos, ice cream sandwich for like one dollar. It adds up. This is the sixth grader's transaction history at Bernardo Heights Middle School. Some days she was spending more than six dollars at lunch on junk food. She blew through one hundred and twenty dollars in a few weeks. Your lunch is three dollars a day. There's no way that this is possible. Okay, spent six dollars a day on junk food. And what, over the course of a month, it 
ended up being $120. And her father is so upset. He contacted the, what, the local news station to write a story about this? And then the local news station did? This is the most American thing I've ever seen. What, did this guy try to get a refund from the school? They said no, so then he was like, well, I'm going to the news. I will never have a talk with my daughter. I'm going to the news. Also, $120 over the course of a month? That's not that bad. People watching this story are gonna say, it's up to you as a parent to make sure she's eating healthy. I think that is definitely true. Uh, however, I feel blindsided because when I started the year, there was no indication that this kind of food was available. It's up to you as a parent to make sure she's eating healthy. There's no way that this is possible. Why didn't the school discipline my child? How dare I have to do so? What do you mean there's no way this is possible? That the child spent $6 on some other food for lunch every day. Why is that so impossible to believe that they let her do that? That's, I don't understand this. There's no way that this is possible. This is a, a passive way of dealing with an issue um, and they're not being proactive and, and educating parents and children about what's healthy to eat and what's not. One guy's mad, his daughter bought some extra cinnamon rolls, and this is on the news for some reason. Just a reminder, that's what you're watching right now. Another one! Oh God! Whoever heard of a high school lunch going viral? In 2019, Minnesota teenager Marin Holler posted photos showing her lunch tray, a handful of baby carrots, a small container of marinara sauce, and a hot dog without the hot dog, just cheese. <laughs> okay, so we have one school. They can't get the buns for the hot dogs and serves only the hot dogs. And we have another school that has no hot dogs but has the buns for the hot dogs. America! <laughs> Marin's Facebook posts elicited quite the reaction. Pathetic excuse for lunch, goes one comment. The school should be ashamed. I didn't understand how like a school could serve that to students and think that it was okay. Inside Edition spoke to Marin's mom, Dawn. I'm extremely proud of my girl. She loves her school. She just wants to see it do better. The St. Cloud, Minnesota school district said, oops, we goofed, tried a new menu item today at lunch, and we hear it was not a winner. <laughs> what is this like? Karen response, oops, we goofed? Tried a new menu item. What's the menu? The hot dog list, hot dog? What is, what is this? It's not a winner. Um, yeah, because they have an enjoyable hot dog. You need the freaking hot dog. Oh, sorry, we tried to get away with feeding you nothing. <laughs> we goofed, got us. Sorry, it wasn't a winner, whoopsie. <laughs> <sighs> Another one. Just days into the new school year, and already there are problems with the food served to New York City's 1.1 million school students. We first exposed this problem last year, showing you photographs of disgusting food. Pizza, moldy eggs and cheese sandwiches, metal pieces, and bones in chicken. Well, now there's more. What the frick? This is the worst so far. Moldy pizza, metal, like, shrapnel inside the chicken tendies? Bro, they are trying to kill somebody. The incident's eerily similar to what happened last spring. CBS 2 showed you the stomach-turning pictures. Disgusting pizza, moldy egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches, chicken with metal pieces and bones. One bone so big that the person who ate it choked and needed the Heimlich maneuver. There have also been problems with the sandwiches. This absolutely delectable-looking salami and cheese sandwich served to students in a Brooklyn school last winter. How does this end up on a child's plate? It's so visually and obviously moldy. How did this get from the kitchen to the plate? This blows my mind. This is terrible. There's no way that this is possible. Fix the food! Leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Has this happened to you? Have you had to ever eat a disgusting school lunch? Odds are, if you're in America, the chances are probably yes. Leave your stories down in the comments below. 
And maybe if you were at any of these schools that were listed in the video, have things improved? Or have they gotten worse? Let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.